modern JavaScript. As the web has evolved, so has JavaScript. Since it first appeared in 1995, JavaScript has grown from a simple scripting language to a powerful, versatile tool that can be used to build complex web applications. One of the biggest implementations of JavaScript in WordPress is the block editor. In order to develop blocks for the block editor, you need to have a good understanding of some modern JavaScript, its syntax, and the tooling that's developed around it. In this lesson, you'll discover some of these JavaScript technologies and how they are used to build blocks in the block editor. Before we continue, let's clarify some terms that are often used interchangeably but have slightly different meanings. JavaScript is the programming language that runs in the browser that was created in 1995. Over time, the term JavaScript has become a bit of an umbrella term that encompasses the language itself and the browser APIs that are available to it. The core language of JavaScript is standardized as something called ECMAScript. These standards are developed by the ECMA TC39 committee, which collaborates with the JavaScript community to maintain and evolve the definition of JavaScript. ECMAScript is the term for the language standard, but ECMAScript and JavaScript can be used interchangeably. The ECMAScript standard is updated with a new edition every year, with new features and syntax being added. These new features are proposed by the TC39 committee. For example, at the time of creating this lesson, the 15th edition of the standard was released in June of 2024, and is more commonly referred to as ECMAScript 15 or ES15. But it can also be referred to as ES2024 after the year it was released. The next version will be ECMAScript 16 or ES16, but newer versions are also sometimes referred to as ESNext. Essentially, ESNext refers to whatever the next version of ECMAScript is. You might also see terms like ES2015+, plus, which refers to all versions of ECMAScript from the 2015 edition onwards. When a new version of ECMAScript is released, it takes time for browsers to implement the new features. This means that you can't always use the latest features in your code and expect it to work in all browsers. To help with this, tools like Babel were created. Babel is a JavaScript compiler that allows you to write code using the latest ECMAScript features and then compiles that code down to an older version of JavaScript that is supported by all browsers. In addition to the browser, JavaScript can also be run on a server or your computer using Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime that allows you to run JavaScript code on a computer. The development of Node.js has allowed JavaScript to be used in a wide variety of applications, one of which is Webpack. Webpack is a module bundler that takes multiple related files and bundles them together into a single file that can be loaded by the browser. Webpack not only supports JavaScript, but also other files like style sheets and images. Using Webpack, you can write JavaScript using the latest ECMAScript features, more modern CSS syntax like syntactically awesome style sheets for your styles, and then bundle them all together in a single JS or CSS file that can be loaded by the browser. All of these technologies help create JavaScript frameworks like React, Vue, and Angular. React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces and is the library that the block editor is built on. React makes use of a syntax extension called JSX, which allows you to write HTML-like code directly in your JavaScript files. In order to make all of this seamless for the WordPress developer, the WordPress team created the WordPress Scripts package. This package is a collection of reusable scripts tailored for WordPress development. It includes scripts for building blocks, plugins, and themes, as well as scripts for running tests and linting your code. If you follow the Introduction to Block Development module in the Beginner Developer Learning Pathway, you've already used all the tools mentioned in this lesson. You installed Node.js, wrote some JSX for the copyright date block, and used WordPress scripts to build your block code, which relies on Webpack to bundle everything for you. If you've been writing JavaScript for a while, you might be familiar with the older syntax and features of the language. This can sometimes mean that switching to the newer features can be a bit of a learning curve. 
Let's look at some of the more common features of modern JavaScript that you might come across when developing blocks for the block editor. You can try these examples out yourself by pasting the code in the console of your browser's developer tools. In the past, JavaScript only had one way to define variables, using the var keyword. However, var has some quirks that can lead to bugs in your code. For example, var variables can be function scoped or globally scoped, which can lead to unexpected behavior if you're not careful. To address these issues, the let and const keywords were introduced in ES6. Let is similar to var, but it is block scoped, which means that it is only available within the block of code that it is defined in. Const is similar to let, but the value of a const variable cannot be changed once it has been assigned. Both let and const are preferred over var when writing modern JavaScript and can be used across all modern browsers. Destructuring assignment is a feature of ES6 that allows you to extract values from arrays or objects and assign them to variables in a more concise way. In this example, the greet function takes a person object as an argument and uses destructuring assignment to extract the first name and last name properties from the object into individual variables. You can take this a step further and destructure the parameters directly in the function signature. Arrow functions are a more concise way to write functions in JavaScript. They were introduced in ES6 and provide a more compact syntax for defining functions. It is also possible to write arrow functions without the parentheses around the parameter if there is only one parameter. If the function body is a single expression, you can even omit the curly braces. Arrow functions are commonly used in modern JavaScript and are especially useful when working with higher order functions like map, filter, and reduce. For more information on modern JavaScript in WordPress, make sure to read through the Working with JavaScript for the Block Editor section of the Block Editor Handbook. It also includes a list of additional resources to learn more at the bottom of the page. Finally, the MDN Web Docs has a detailed JavaScript section that covers all aspects of the language, from the basics to the more advanced features.